Welcome in the series of monocot plants we would first understand the anatomy of monocot root followed by leaves and stem in a different lecture to begin with when we understand the structure of monocot root this is how a monocot root looks like so we would understand important layers which is epiblema cortex pith pericycle endodermis and vascular bundle now epiblema is the outermost layer it is uncutaneous it is colorless and has root hairs now what is the function of the root hairs we very well know it actually absorbs the water and the mineral salts and this is the main function that the root hair has this layer is also known as rhizodermis and it is also a kind of piliferous layer clear so this is the first layer next to it is cortex cortex has parenchymatic cells now this cortex has three important function one is the function of conduction of water from the root hairs to the inner tissues the second is the storage of the food and the third important function is an exodermis for uh the um, it forms a exodermis in the case of older roots okay the next is pith pith is the innermost part and this main function is to store food uh, this actually has parenchyma cells but they can be thin walled or thick walled however in the case of cortex we saw that there are various uh, layers which it has and there are intercellular spaces which are present and this intercellular spaces are mainly for the exchange purpose in the epiblema there is no intercellular space that is present pith again has parenchymatic cells but these could be either thin walled or thick walled and this is present in the center of the endodermis layer now the main function is to store food the next is pericycle pericycle is the layer which surrounds the vascular bundle and it has thin parenchyma cells now this peri pericycle can be of two types it can be uniseriate or it could be multiseriate example of uniseriate is maize plant example of multiseriate is smilex clear so those are the pericycle uh, now this is the region which produces lateral roots only again an important understanding and uh, many my, uh, in many of the monocots in the young stages the wall of the parenchyma cells of the pericycle is thin but as it grows older it becomes relatively thick the next is endodermis endodermis is the inner boundary of what of the cortex as we understand so here is the inner boundary of the cortex which is endodermis layer now this is usually single layered uh, the shape of the cells are barrel in nature and they also have a unique strip which is known as casparian strip now this casparian strip is made of lignin and suberin right so lignin and suberin are the compounds which are used in the casparian strip and this is one of the major uh, part of the endodermis layer the next is vascular bundle vascular bundle form is formed of phloem and xylem xylem again divided as metaxylem and protoxylem protoxylem surrounds the metaxylem protoxylem is outside the metaxylem and uh, the xylem in the case of a monocot is polyarch what does that mean it is polyarch that means there are numerous xylem bundles which are present and it is also exarch exarch means the protoxylem is outside the metaxylem so two important characteristics of xylem in vascular bundle of a monocot and those are it is polyarch that is many uh, bundles together exarch that means it is on the outer side now xylem does what so, xylem provides mechanical strength to the plant and it also helps in the conduction of water and minerals which have ultimately come through the root hairs also uh, one of the major things that we need to understand is the phloem now what is the function of phloem phloem conducts food xylem as we know conducts water phloem conducts 
food right so vascular bundle uh, this is one of the major characteristics but what is most important in the case of monocot is that the xylem is polyarch as well as exarch that means protoxylem lies outside the metaxylem one of the key aspects that you must remember here so this was a quick summary of the anatomy of a monocot root in the next lecture we will talk about monocot leaf and then monocot stem so stay tuned and stay subscribed for further updates do follow the links below for more practice questions on the same